like we always do about this time. world. <laughs> you had to say it like that. Dog. I'm your girl, Alexis, <laughs> aka Black Mama Watson. Chit, chit, chit. Well, come on. In the building. And of course, Detroit's finest. Detroit male, the man with, with the, the grand man. master plan. Mm, mm, uh, mm, uh. Mm, mm. <laughs> As y'all see, we are all ready acting up. Yeah, we, we ready to go. And you don't stop. And you don't quit. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> anyway, listen, if you are sleeping on me for rocking, you don't know what it is. This is your favorite podcast, gang gang. Gang, 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 gang. I often wonder, crew, and we are back with another episode, another banger, another hitter, another uh, full-fledged conversation that you can eavesdrop into. Uh, let's see. Bang. Boom. Let's get the preliminaries of the preliminaries House of housekeeping cleaning. all out of the way. If you do not know, and again, you're living on the frog, check out the website, www.ioftenwonder.com. There you'll find all of the information that you need as far as uh, merch, Remember? as far as Patreon page, merch, merch, as far as social media, merch. as far as every platform that merch. we're on. Let, now, let me pause. Pause. If you don't know that we are literally, 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 literally. on Every platform. Yeah, we on every yeah. platform. Facebook, Instagram, we did. Apple Pod, we did. Google Pod, we did. Chrome Pod, mm-hmm. anything you you know, mm-hmm. Buzzsprout, anything you know, Anchor, Bam. you know, Anchor. Bam. Pa- Pandora, Bam. Uh, Spotify, you know, Spotify, you uh, know back you, all you gotta do is search. I, oh, back page. Wait, whoa, 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 sir. Back whoa. page. No. Listen, just because no, you sir. are no, no, the no, 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 sir. No, no. Close. Oh. Close so DMs over here. So I need to check that account now. Wide open. <laughs> this side over. Oh. Open. This side here. So I, close. Close. <laughs> I close that account then. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can. No, no, you he, change the account from I often wonder. Yeah, to, oh. Jamal. To Jamal okay? Yeah, you keep your own personal. We account, not so. trying to have no smoke. <laughs> nah, okay. we we nah, nah, we we don't need no back we page not, problems. No so back shots. And- <laughs> <laughs> Be stroking, hey, and be stroking, hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> y'all thought it was getting listened. Y'all come on. Oh, we, oh, y'all we gotta guess. We gotta yeah, guess. Yeah, first of all, we, we gotta guess. First of all, you started this whole nonsense. Foolery. Second of all, the church girl is completely out the window, so y'all getting to get all time foolery from here on. Wow. Out. Here well, on well. Out. <laughs> Here you go. Coming in anyway, a Hyundai. <laughs> listen. Riding in a Hyundai. You guys. <laughs> she do ride a Hyundai, though. I do drive a Hyundai. <laughs> you know she I coming in a Hyundai. <laughs> listen. Shout out to everyone who has been supporting us. You I guys have been. Uh, <laughs> been <laughs> y'all been door. blowing up the YouTube page as well as our DMs um, <laughs> for all these fellow creators, content creators, and everything else. You guys are amazing. <laughs> Listen, y'all have literally booked our calendars for the next couple months, and we appreciate you. I'm ignoring him. Ignore him so we can get to the guest, okay? <laughs> Till we can get to the guest, okay? Y'all come on, man. Come Listen, on. Um, like no other, we love having guests. We love right, making right, new friends right, right. and new uh, connections. We mm-hmm. are big people yeah. when it comes to networking. I got a good feeling about our guests. You gonna I do, too, because she behind the scenes. Y'all don't get to see it. If y'all go to the Patreon page and you y'all will. subscribe, you'll see behind the scenes. Yeah. Um, however, she uh will fit right in with us. She right, right. got our ganters, our jokes, and <laughs> was just sitting back laughing at us and watching us cut a fool like normal. <laughs> um, she is a singer, songwriter, full time musician, um, and a part time stand up comedian. I, I am intrigued. No, we love comedy and music. She I, right, like. I am intrigued <laughs> yeah. to pick her brain on all of these subjects and more. So, without further ado, you guys, please, please welcome out of the green room of the green room, Miss Erin. 
Yeah. <laughs> Miss did you just, Erin. Did you just Hawks. use the name so you wouldn't say it wrong? Exactly. <laughs> All right. That's exactly what I did. You didn't have to call me out, though, Erin. You, <laughs> you didn't have to call me out. That's what I wanted my first thing to say. You know? <laughs> Listen, I was sitting here practicing in my head. I was like, wait, hot. Your you psyched heart, yourself heart. out. I did, and I do it every time. So I I'm I'm glad that it was your first name up there first, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you know. No. I posted you know so many comedy shows, and I'll, like, write it down phonetically, and I practice and practice and practice, and I get up there, and I just, like. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Just, sometimes you just fart at the mouth. Yeah, that's yeah. It. yeah. It happens. Or me yeah. and my heavy tongue. Yeah. Hey, it's wait a minute. I haven't had a heavy tongue lately in a couple of shows. Nah, nah, don't, don't yeah, jinx you, yourself. I'm not. It. Jinx That's because he's been using it. Knock on some jinx. wood. <laughs> yeah, knock on some wood. <laughs> anyway, Miss Miss Aaron Harks, <laughs> we appreciate you joining this show. Excuse these foolishness over here. Because <laughs> here he comes no, again with his tomfoolery. foolery. I know it's foolery, it's but, all but let's, let's, all get, all right, let's, focus. let's get the business, y'all. Let's get the business, Miss Harks, before we get too deep into the conversation. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let the audience know where they can find you at. Plug yourself, baby yes, girl. Let please. the people know where they can find you at. Uh, well, I can be found at uh, my website, which is AaronHarks.com. <laughs> um, that's like E R I N H A R K E S dot <laughs> com. And I'm on all the social media at Aaron Harks. So pretty easy to find. Okay. 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 Yeah. So y'all go do that, y'all. Facebook, Instagram, all that. You, you ain't got a back page, do you? You don't. Please just, just a what no. page? Uh, <laughs> uh, no, back Aaron, page. just say no. <laughs> Am I about to learn something? No, I want to learn. <laughs> no, no, we, we just oh, no. we just making sure you didn't have a back page. You know, a uh, back page. Back since page I said a what, I'm pretty sure I don't. So <laughs> <laughs> and you don't want good, one. Good. No, you, I promise you. you do I mean, not. we've all resorted to some some pretty crazy stuff to get through this pandemic, but uh, from the tone, <laughs> you gotta make make that money, Aaron. Make that, that I'm money. Happy to say, no, I don't. <laughs> yes, <laughs> please understand and say no. You don't. No, hey, you don't. Hey. I'll, I'll put it to you. I'll put you. I'll put it to you this way, Aaron. So a back page is like take a fans only, but uh, to fans another only level. For, it's fans only for and fans only was there. <laughs> anyway, going into the first question of this <laughs> of this segment, it's worse than only fans. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yes. yes. Oh yeah. I have ten. <laughs> um, just because I want to support you, just give me that information. <laughs> Be, I, I just want to support you, you know what I'm saying? That's the kind of guy I am. I appreciate the support. Really. <laughs> oh, shit. But go ahead. You, go you ahead. don't know what kind of support yeah, you're yeah, you, 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 just, you just opened you just up a, a Pandora's box. You just opened up a whole can of worms that I don't think you're ready You're going to be able to find it if you don't know what my last name is. So. <laughs> <laughs> Shots fired, but dang boom. nabbit. <laughs> All right, listen. Let's get into this combo because I already see how this is about to be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What made you go into being a full time musician, songwriter? Like, how did you get all these these Hats, different things yeah. at one time? Like, tell us about your journey. Um. Well, I uh, I just always loved music, loved making music, loved singing, loved playing, and uh, it just kind of made it my beeswax to make it happen any way I could. <laughs> I love it. I always had like a day job. Um, and then, you know, I had a nagging mother who was like, you need 401k, you know? <laughs> so like, I took like this office job. I worked for, uh, for the County, which was like, you know, like a civil service kind of thing. And right. I, it was torture. I hated every second of it. And I actually had, um, I, I got to this point where I was starting to play a lot. Like I was getting a lot of, a lot of gigs mm -hmm. and I was exhausted because I'm working 40 hours a week playing almost every single night. Mm -hmm. And so I scaled back from the gigs cause I was too tired. And all of a sudden I was like, yeah, I'm broke. I was like, <laughs> What's wrong with this picture that I'm working 40 hours a week. And I mean, I wasn't broke, but I didn't have right, 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 wanted right. to have. And right. so I started picking up more gigs again. And uh, I was like, well, what's wrong with this picture? And so I just kind of took like a six month, uh, leave of absence from work, uh, which basically was like, I, I quit, but I can come back if, if I can't make it work, you know? Yeah, right, right. <laughs> and uh, the first, the six months were, were not kind, honestly. Like, I mean, the, of course, like once I made myself available, the gigs weren't like just waiting for me and uh, my car 
broke down completely and like like one thing after another and so right. after six months i had my like meeting i went back to see and i just walked into the building and i was like i don't i don't care I, i'm not coming back here i can't do it <laughs> like i'll make it work and yeah. you know when you are when you're hungry and you're scared you'll mm -hmm. find a way and mm -hmm. I have wow. to just pull pull the net out and just go for it and mm -hmm. luckily it, it worked yeah, I don't good, know good. No, going. no, I like that. That's that's a that's a dope little story that you got. You just pretty said, just fucking, I'm going. I'm gonna go for it. And just yeah, just I mean, walking it. back in that building after six months, I was like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> let this like, be no, the last dude. time. <laughs> no, I, I don't know how that is. I mean, I saw that but, stupid security guard like here, and, uh, <laughs> for you, and I'm like, I'm out. I gotta go. <laughs> Tell him I quit. <laughs> I wish that could be me. That's gonna be me. It's gonna be. Though. It's gonna be. Grab your That's stapler, gonna like office space. <laughs> Where's my exactly. stapler? Exactly. <laughs> got my Mickey Mouse stapler. I'm taking this. <laughs> Give me that. You're cool. Damn you. You're cool. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good movie. No, that was. Fuck your post-it notes, Kathy. I'm out. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so that that explains how you got into music. What got you into being a part time comedian? Because we hear it full fledged in this whole conversation. Like my stomach hurts already, and I'm, I, we still have two more segments to go through. Maybe when I eat. Uh, well, the the part of like uh, being a musician that I liked the most is when, I, like, I mean, I do when you do it full time. Um, unless you're like famous, when you do it full time, you take a lot of like bar gigs and stuff with your background music. Nobody's right. really paying attention. And mm -hmm. I don't care. Like I, I can, you know, count my money in my head. I'm like, that was five bucks. That song. I don't care that you're not listening. To <laughs> um, and occasionally you get a gig where like you, you're doing your own stuff, the stuff that you wrote, you have like a captive mm -hmm. audience and they're all looking at you. And, and so you, you talk a little bit between songs and people always told me that I was funny. Mm -hmm. And um, so I was always like curious about open mics and um, or, or about comedy in general. Mm -hmm. And somebody suggested an open mic, which I know now is like, like a, a torture chamber of, of hell. You know, it's like, yeah, it is. like, I mean, I know now people are like, oh, you, you ever go to one? I'm like, not now. Like, I don't have to go anymore. Yeah. You graduate out of that. Um, but I went to one. And it was actually, it was just the perfect scenario. And I don't know if I would have had the same story if it didn't go so well. Like I knew the guy that was hosting it. Okay. Um, I knew the place it was going to be. It just happened to be a night that I had off, which was rare. And I was like, the stars aligned. And I went and I had like three jokes on a piece of paper. <laughs> and I'm going to bring up with me and I'm shaking, right? <laughs> and uh, the dude that goes up before me is just disgusting. Just really <laughs> ugh, like the worst, which I realize now is like common. And um, <laughs> well, before that, the only comedians I had seen are ones that, you know, made it to TV. So I thought right. Right, comics were good. And now right. this guy's disgusting. Like, <laughs> so I get up and with the prepared material in my hand before I even got to that, I said, do I have to use the same mic? Is this like disgusting guy? And, like, <laughs> and everybody just started laughing. And like my friend had it on video. Like the first time I got a laugh, like I was, my eyes like went, oh. And I was like, that was like, I was hooked. I was like, yeah. oh, I like that. Right, right. Man, that's that's dope. That's dope. Um, how how are the groupies on the road? <laughs> <laughs> For his DMs to be closed. These are just questions. These are just questions. I don't really have groupies. I have uh of creepy people, if that's what you mean. <laughs> they groupies. They are. Gr they are okay. groupies. Right, they're that's, terrible. That's, um, that's a that's a bad sex in the groupies, that's bro. A, that's, that's, that's a not bad the groupies we're talking about. <laughs> Well, honestly, I've noticed the connection between like the the most devoted people tend to, and I'm probably going to alienate like any fans I have right now. But like some of the <laughs> the more devoted people are the scarier ones, you know, they're like, yeah. I'll be there. I'll be every show you ever play in, in Arizona. And you're like, that's cool. Like <laughs> I'm never coming to Arizona again. <laughs> media, you know? uh, but the coolest thing about it is like, I, I usually try and hook up with, you know, people that I went to like high school and college with, or like okay. people that I've met along the way. Like you get people that are like, Hey, if you're ever in, 
you know, Phoenix and, and you just keep them in mind and you tell them and then you, you know, go and play there and then they don't show up. It's great. You know, you just stay <laughs> connected with people. But... <laughs> so what was Aaron like in high school? Were you a class clown in high school? Yes. Um, yeah. I, I was a little bit, but I was also like really shy. Okay. Uh, um, right. unless you, I was, you must have shared that. I, don't I was like, you yeah. I, I was, I was a little bit until I started drinking, and then everything. I'm sober now, but that definitely got me through through the uh through the hump. But um, yeah, I was kind of a class clown. What's funny is I don't know if you guys know the show uh 30 Rock. Yeah, yes. yeah. You know the episode where she goes to her high school reunion. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I realized I was like, you know, because I was like, oh, yeah, I got bullied and people weren't nice to me. And I like watched that episode. And I look back. I was like, I might have been more of a bully than I think I was. <laughs> like, I think about things that I said to people and I just thought I was like, you know, fitting in or like right, sticking right. up for myself. But I I was I could be pretty mean, I think. Uh, yeah. It's definitely a defense mechanism. But I think um. Because a lot of times I, I go back and I think about stuff like that, too. Because, like, Lamar and I used to talk about how we used to sit back in a bus and crack jokes. Oh, yeah. Or, you know, we're on a porch. Roasting and Roasting session. people and cracking jokes and stuff like that. But then you don't realize, as you as you go back and start realizing some of the stuff you say, it's like, ooh, I should have said that. Yeah. That was kind of mean. That was kind of a... You know? Yeah. By the time... Like, the was like, you know, how's the telescope? And she was like, how's your mom's pill addiction? You know? I was like, <laughs> was like, I was like oh... <laughs> Uh, too, mean, <laughs> uh, too soon. Too, too soon. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. So popping, popping pills like Skittles. <laughs> you know, but the it's funny thing. <laughs> On that note, we're gonna take a take quick a break. commercial take break. break, and when we come back, we'll have yeah, we need to get ourselves together. <laughs> We got to get ourselves together. <laughs> Do you have an upcoming event and you need desserts? Oh, wow. Billy J Sweets can take away all of your worries. While you relax, we can prepare scrum. Um, I was just accosted in the bathroom by a woman who told me I shouldn't bring my cell phone in there because there's all sorts of bacteria in the air and like fecal matter. So essentially it's like having poop on your phone. <laughs> I said, you have no problem opening your mouth in here. <laughs> I have enough like germaphobe paranoia without somebody creating more for me. Like I, I don't like a piece of fruit in my drink without thinking about the lemon's journey from the tree to my glass. I can't watch a barista put the lid on my cup of coffee without wanting to scream, why don't you just put your fingers directly in my mouth? I can't work in an office with women that like to kick their shoes off because they think they're home or something and they walk around with their feet underneath their desk without thinking that if a crazed gunman came in and put a rifle to my forehead and said, get off the fucking ground, I'd be like, no. Yeah. <laughs> nope, <laughs> you're gonna have to kill me. <sighs> So it's really nice to be performing again. I just had a baby. Thank you. Thanks. I didn't. I just put on some weight. It's fine. It's fine. Um, I had to stop shopping at Forever 21, and not just because I'm 37 a different number that I was having a problem with at that store. <laughs> this little stick figure behind the counter was holding my skirt one day and she was like, oh, <laughs> I can't wear things like this because I don't have any hips, but you're lucky because you're thick. <laughs> I said, you're lucky that I'm on Zoloft and probation. That was actually one of Aaron's stand up um, shows that she did. This <laughs> oh my God. That's hilarious. <laughs> Why is it the she last said, two comedians said, I that we I, I can't shop at Forever 21 no more? Is it different? <laughs> <laughs> but why have the last two comedians 
But we air. Hey, that's the a last fe- one. that's a female problem. We ain't got no forever twenty one for right. men. We good. So you know, <laughs> we're our, not even gonna talk about the difference when it comes to our, our shit stretches <laughs> ages. <laughs> you don't even want to go there, boys. <laughs> Listen, please, Aaron, because they, they be thinking I be joking. Like it's a whole different world when we gotta go shopping. Yeah, my fiance has a closet full of jeans that are all the same exact size and a bunch of extra large t-shirts all in a row. Like I have one sweater that's like an extra small and one that's like a triple XL right. the same way. So no, it's not the same for you dudes. Like we're yeah. all just trying to work us into some eating disorders one way or the other. It's like I get like a really small one. I'm like, oh bitch is having cake for dessert. <laughs> and then go home and put the same shirt. You buy the same shirt in a different size. Why is it so tight? Yeah. Yeah. Or like, you know, Target now has like the clothes from like, you know, size like zero to size like 18. Yeah. So then you can see what another girl looks like when she's like one fourth your size. And it's like <laughs> Thanks, bitch. I'm, like, I'm just, <laughs> and now I'm disgusted in myself. Let me go home and and become bulimic. It sounds like a whole uh, uh, a lot of emotional stuff y'all got to deal with when y'all shopping. Was was it's just that's a basic- down so you guys can stay in control. <laughs> that's on a basic day. Don't let us be on our period and go shopping. Why won't this fit? Yeah. <laughs> Oh my goodness. It's one of the best things about COVID is that like we don't try on clothes anymore. Like just take them home and be shameful in your own house and then return them. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Well, I knew I wore this out before COVID. Now after COVID, (laughs) let me go up by four, five. Oh my goodness. Oh, we got everybody swole. I so so since you're such a germaphobe, how how do you feel about COVID? Are are you are you venturing out? Are you are you a two masker? Are you a, a mask and a shield kind of guy? What's going on with your German fro? Or have you with just COVID? not left your house at all? <laughs> <laughs> I've left. I've uh, at first I was like super duper careful. I went out like once a week and it was just for groceries and I, I wore the gloves and the mask and like the regular uh, mask. Um, I just find it funny that we had to have this whole campaign where we were telling people to wash their hands. I'm like, what? what yeah, that? right, <laughs> right. That part. That I part. think we said it on the show too. Like, dang. That part. Like, you need to be reminded. Like, what were you doing before then? <laughs> nasty. Just- <laughs> hey, hey, that's why I fist bump. Hey. Yeah. Elbow. That's hey, why give I- me an elbow. Yeah. I go back to yeah, uh, yeah. Not. <laughs> yeah. Good. I'm definitely like more like germaphobic about like some things than other things. And like, I hate when people like say, oh, you care about this, but not about that. I'm like, you need to shut up. Like I have enough. <laughs> like I, I know that it doesn't make any sense. Like I'll sit, like I'll sit in a public restroom. Like I, I, I'll sit, oh, I don't have the, the core strength to hover that long. Like you know, <laughs> I've made peace with that. Just shut the fuck up. Don't tell me about what's happening. I know what's happening and I put it out of my brain so that I can go to the bathroom in public. Like right. stop. <laughs> Why? But yeah, but no, don't put a lemon wedge in my drink. Like don't do it. I'll, I'll lose my shit, you know? So I know sense, but that's how I am. <laughs> Oh my God! That's, just, I'm dying laughing. She said I didn't have the core strength to squat. Who does? Come on now. Hey, I used to. I used yeah, to no, I'm not doing boy. that. I couldn't no. go. We used to live. When I lived in yeah, Michigan. I burn those jeans when I get home. <laughs> yeah. Hey, whatever. Hey, I ain't even gonna front, bro. Uh-huh. I didn't almost shit it on myself trying to trying to make my little little hover. Oh, yeah, you know? no. <laughs> Look, <laughs> nah, I'm, talking about, I'm talking about wiping the seat and I got like yeah. damn near half the toilet roll yeah. on the damn, yeah, damn bowl. Awesome. When I gotta go, almost. I gotta go. <laughs> you try to hold I'm it. Gonna sit my fat ass down and I'm to go. Well, I'm over here to, trying to right. wipe and, and trying to hold and, and I, wipe. I've been there. I've been there. <laughs> Yeah, you go through all that, and then at one point you just give up. You're like, I just gotta sit, you know. Yeah, like, pretty much. That's yes. what I gotta do. Yeah, yes. that's I, I'm at that point now. I'm just like, fuck it. I used to carry. Uh, <laughs> there we go. You know, you got the trial size little light sauce. Spray. Little light sauce. Spray. You had the me. travel size. First of all, when uh, wait, oh, wait, when's the last time they made a travel size light they, sauce? They they sold out of those. Uh, well, <laughs> I don't use the public bathroom. <laughs> I was gonna say now when I first I'm at home all the time. When yeah, I met true. when I first met Jamel, he was still a little bit of a germaphobe because there were certain people at work that he'd be like, yeah, no. Mm-mm. Oh, like we go ready, you get ready to eat, and certain people. <laughs> so he got this guy. I'm not gonna mention his name, but um, that's a first. Yeah, I'm not gonna mention his name. But he was so disgusting. He worked with us uh, at the cafe we worked at. He come in the morning. He put his gloves on. 
those same gloves he had on, be on a whole eight gloves. hours. Like, we were like, bro. Like, he would go to bathroom, gloves still on. <laughs> I'd be like, nah. So yes. well, he worked, uh, yeah, we started off on a salad bar. Wait, he touching time, salads? So the whole time he's on salad bar, I didn't eat any salad that time. Wait, Bruh, wait, wait he touches the salad? He touching and now everything. I'm not eating out ever again. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, oh, 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 Aaron. Dude was just Aaron. nasty. Right, so, you're, look, you're dealing with three chefs, so we can tell you look, some horror look, we, stories. We all uh, cook. No, thank you. And, and, <laughs> and, and we, we could tell you about some disgusting. Well, I mean, people. I never understood that. Like, when you go to, like, I, I mean, I don't really eat fast food much anymore, but like, when you would go and you'd buy something and they're like taking your money with their gloved hand. And I'm like, what yeah. is the point now? What's yeah, why are you doing that? You know, like that glove is prettier than your hand now. Probably. <laughs> I, I still work in fast food, and I, I I tell whoever's my front cashier, don't you touch nothing else. You yeah. are solely only to be on this front cashier. Don't wipe nothing down. Don't do nothing. And if I do tell you to wipe something down, you better you see this box of gloves. Wipe, yeah. Change them and wash your hands in between before you put the yeah. glove on your hand. I saw this guy at Dunkin' Donuts one time. He like went around the corner, but not far enough, and I heard him sneeze. <laughs> and like, and he had sneezed into his gloved hands, and he like, went, oh wow! And he like looked, and he looked right at me. I'm like, yeah, I saw you, fucker, change him. <laughs> All right, so let me let, let me ask you this: What does Aaron like to do on her downtime when you're not doing music, when you're not doing uh, comedy? What are you doing? What is a typical day for you? I've had nothing but downtime for the past <laughs> <laughs> last year, right? Nothing at all. Can't do nothing. Yeah, I mean, I um, I've been trying to write more uh, in the past few months. Like, I definitely okay. wasn't really like inspired at first. At first, I was like, oh, with this downtime, I'm gonna create. But I was like, no, I'm gonna eat food and. <laughs> not put a bra on, you know. Like, Hello, that was the right? best part of COVID. That right was there. the best. Thank you. The best that part. Was- they're like they're like house cats now. Like I let them out, and now I exactly. can't get them back in. Exactly. <laughs> no bra feels comfortable. They're you outdoor cats now. Right here. Yeah. <laughs> I put She's one on now. Crying. I feel like I'm being like tortured. I get home, I'm like, like not even up the stairs. I'm like, get this thing off of me. <laughs> if it wasn't for the guys and us having to record. I, I I guarantee they would probably be annoyed with me because I would not come in here with a bra on even in here. Like you know, what? It, it actually makes sense. Yeah. No, I'm saying because when we wear draws, that that hose our little yeah. buddies were up. Not you know, even so close, like, man. <laughs> I don't wear. You got some underwire in your drawers. I don't want to hear from Hello. you. Hello, and don't let <laughs> and, and, and Aaron, don't let it be they one of the good. It, they help hold it up. Listen, nah, don't don't let it be one of the good. Okay. <sighs> that sounds uncomfortable. Uncomfortable is not the word. Hey, I'm I I am I'm all for the no bra movement. Y'all y'all, 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 y'all do whatever. Put some metal whatever like want. little metal underwires. They're shaped like U's, and just shove one of them under each of your nuts. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you, when you said shove, I was already tuning you out. <laughs> and that's, what, that's what we have to do. I heard shove. We literally have to lift and shove these mugs. No, 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 no way. No, 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 no. Yeah. Shoving a person nothing down there. Listen, <laughs> I mean, bro, there's a reason why you're only seeing me from the neck up right now, you know? Oh, no! <laughs> Just swanging. Just swanging. You yeah. seeing me swanging. <laughs> like, what do, you, what do you do with your time off? Not wear a bra. <laughs> <laughs> what skills do you have? Being able not to yeah. tip on my nipples. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was oh. like, I started to write something about how, like, uh, you know, I felt bad for like the DoorDash guy who gonna be like running down the stairs to get my food and just, you know, Are the you girl just, <laughs> <laughs> okay. the look of fear on his face, like I was not like rocking, like in the zone, just coming to take him out. <laughs> and don't let it be you in your own house and you got a white shirt on. Then it's, oh, then yeah. it's, yeah. I, wasn't, I wasn't that cruel, you know, but like I, I mean, am. one, I was excited to see another human being. Two, he had food. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bad combo, you know. It's a very bad combo. <laughs> let me ask you this, because you mentioned it a minute ago. You've been, especially during COVID, you've been trying to write more. What is your process when it comes to writing? Do you like to isolate yourself? Is there a certain routine that you get yourself into? What is that journey like? I, unfortunately, there's no real process. I feel like if 
if I ever try and set up a time where I do it, it just comes out like really forced. It just mm -hmm. isn't, it, I don't get good material. What I try to do is, you know, if I do devote any time to it, I just try and like put my phone away make sure there's no distractions, Right. you know, like burn a candle or some hippie shit, you know, to make it look <laughs> like a good space. But, a lot. <laughs> no, not for me, unfortunately. And that's the problem. I've been sober for like 10 years. And so I didn't write for the longest time because I was like, you know, without my best friend cocaine, I just had like, <laughs> no focus, you know? I just wrote all these like sad like love songs about my cocaine leaving me. But <laughs> now, now, all jokes aside, is there a different process being sober and, and, and you know, having, you know, certain inhibitions? come to light when you're under the influence of certain things oh yeah i found it really hard if not impossible at first to write at all when i got sober and it was uh for you know honestly it's a it's a good trade-off because i was not mm -hmm. i was not in a good way when i was using so yeah. it was like you know be creative be sober it's like i'll figure out a way so it's definitely harder um to find like that motivation. Now I find like things like either jokes or songs just strike me and I just make sure to just stop and write it down in some way, just like uh, almost like a, you know, like a post-it note, just something that I'll come across again and, and mm. hopefully will remember what I was thinking of and be able to make some of it. Like I'll get ideas when I'm like about to fall asleep at night. I'll be like, ah, shit, that song's done. <laughs> No, or like I, I'll get up sometimes and just walk in the other room, just record myself a little note so that the next day I can work on it a little bit more. Um, so basically like if I do, when I do find time to sit down, I take those notes that I made and hopefully can remember enough about them to like work them into something. And the last song that I wrote, it actually worked out because I had little notes that I had left for myself all over the place and little melodies. And I, mm -hmm. I was able to put it together and, and, and finish a song. So, but it's good that the juices are starting to flow uh, without the drugs and alcohol <laughs> anymore. <laughs> finally, I'm finding a way. Well, shout out to you for one, just being 10 years sober. That's, right. that's, yeah, that's, 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 that's a good accomplishment. Major, major accomplishment. Yeah. Kudos, kudos. Yo, I'm we're going to take a <laughs> <laughs> Well, while hey, she refills her vodka cup, do. Uh, we're going to take another, uh, another quick commercial break. And when we come back, we will have a little bit more in our last segment with Aaron. Y'all stay tuned. For an engaging podcast, come to our box, Riddick's Book of Philosophy. My name is Philip Riddick. In my podcast, we have engaging and adult conversations, and we also have very interesting guests. Once again, if you want a very interesting podcast that is forward thinking and mature, come to RBOP, R B O P. This podcast can be found anywhere podcasts are distributed, as well as YouTube and Facebook. There's a dead cat sitting at the bar. I knew I threw him, but I guess I didn't throw him too far. If I can still see him there, I get all proud and watch me act like I don't care. But this is becoming a common occurrence. And in our life, you know, there's little assurance that there's a night out to trip over one or two or three. Maybe it's something, but it does nothing for me. So when sometimes I hold a line about a blood, I've been more fun. Okay. We are back, 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 we back, back. We back, we back, we back, we back, we back. We are still hanging out, talking with Aaron. That was uh, Dead Cat, correct? If I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. That's an old. I like that though. I like that. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, you yeah. saw we got into our whole dance groove. You know, it don't take much for us so to get you, the uh, moving and grooving and shaking and baking. What inspired you, you to write that song? You had a lot of cats around the house or something? <laughs> no, it had nothing to do with cats. <laughs> I about said, did you listen to the words? Yeah, it's uh, you know, the phrase like you couldn't swing a dead cat without hitting. Yeah, I know. Fill in the blank. Yeah, well, <laughs> the fill in the blank was someone who filled in my blank. I guess is the best way to put it. <laughs> 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 oh, 
Oh okay. my God. <laughs> Next question. No, um, no, 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 no. Continue along these lines of questions. <laughs> Go for it. This is my, my back page. <laughs> Say something. Listen, right. speaking of. Speaking Cut it with of, my dick in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Brother, nigga, brother, what are we doing now? <laughs> Don't make me leave with my foot in your ass. Be cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, y'all, y'all relax anyway. Um, so, Aaron, have you ever find that your uh, your two loves, music and comedy, kind of sometimes clash, clash and, and you create something out of both projects? You know, like like a comedy song or. Kind of like how you said you were doing stand up in between your sets and music. Has that ever happened to you before? Um, I haven't written any like funny songs yet. I've, I've always uh, like wanted to. Uh, again, mm-hmm. it's something that would have to happen like really organically. Otherwise, I feel like it would be too cheesy. And right. like I don't like I've I've written some stuff with like popular like current events. Mm-hmm. And then within a few days, it's old news. So it's like, mm-hmm. you know, it doesn't ever really work out. Um, but again, like, yeah, if it doesn't happen on its own, I don't want to force something. Cause if I, like the first time that I do it, it's gotta, it's gotta be good or I'm not gonna like show it to people and I don't want anything that's forced or cheesy or something. And then that's what, you know, people know about me, the first effort that I make with that. So I haven't done it yet, but it's not off the table. Yeah. I think you got some weird Al Yankovic in you somewhere. somewhere. <laughs> somewhere. That, was cute. that was my first concert. My nerdy ass when I was eight years old. That was my first concert. <laughs> I love him. So yeah, look, that's, a, that's yeah, the weird Al is a, a realm of his own that just <sighs> I love it. Yeah, he just made his own it. lane. I yeah, love it. Well, I like about him. But I know I, his versions of songs more than I know like the actual version. Like, right, right. <laughs> like, like Lola, and I was like, "You mean Yoda? Like, what's this song? This is, you know, like <laughs> all of his Plus songs. Like, I sing his lyrics before I sing like the regular version. I have no right. idea. Right. And plus, they're more fun to sing than a regular version. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Give you a different look on it. But we, since we are talking about music, I did want to ask you about a couple songs. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna name the title of them and let it tell us about you know what brought this song about, what made you name it this song this. Um, so we kind of play the little game like that. So let's start with the first song, um, That Girl. Oh, wow. How about this? I just wanted you to be. You guys are on that old, old album. <laughs> sometimes. Yeah, sometimes oldies are goodies. <laughs> Down my picture taken to the That was just, I mean, I was always like uh, more friends with like dudes than I was with uh, other women growing up and so that song was kind of about like just like sitting around and listening to them and kind of making a list of what not to do you know like based on things that they would say i mean they would treat me like one of the guys so they would talk about you know women as if i wasn't there and i'd be like don't do that (laughs) like like these two yeah, well, pretty but, much. Yeah. Well, I mean, you gotta understand, we're not gonna fake it. We not, not I don't want y'all guy. to. I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, we, well, first, first of all, you know, me and Mel ain't gonna candy coat or shit. Coat no, shit. Yeah, I don't, no, I don't. <laughs> it, it wouldn't be a uh it'd be a dishonor to us and it'd be a dishonor to you. <laughs> I respect you too much. Yeah, we love you too much. Somehow I got pulled into this Tom. <laughs> I love how you guys are saying that, and she's looking like unimpressed. Like, <laughs> oh, is I'm that so what this used- is? Oh, great! I'm so used to it. And, and what's crazy is every person goes on the show. They're like, "I'm so sorry, Alexis. I'm so sorry." And no, I'm so used to it. It doesn't face me at all anymore. Yeah. At all. Okay, so what about what about this song? Um, if you should. Ugh. Oh God! <laughs> you must now explain now that you now that you made that whole sound effect. <laughs> Please, uh, that was actually about like one particular person that. Uh, oh, it's a good memory, for sure. Okay, we like good memories because that that the sound effect didn't give a good memory. Right, didn't give a good memory vibe <laughs> at all. We were like, oh, yeah, this like, is gonna be a juicy story. <laughs> Let me get. Well, I, I'm. I'm kind of. Like, it was honestly. It was uh, about the, uh, the the first cut. relationship that I had with with a, a person of color. If I'm being honest, so hey, yeah. come on. Funny oh, that you know. Oh, you got something I mean, to be saying. Unlike what they say, you do go back, but right. you know. Um, 
he was a really, really good dude. Uh, a <laughs> really great singer, and we had a a, a very nice time. We're just. <laughs> and then he left, and then he moved to Chicago. Like he didn't say goodbye to like anybody. Like really, just like completely ghosted and just kind of fell off the face of the earth. Yeah. Yeah. So, like oh, he wow. like popped up on like Facebook like a few years ago. So this was like. That's like, what I'm doing now. Falling off the face of the earth. Yeah, like a really long. This was like in like the early '80s when he and I hung out, like, okay. like 2002 or so. And then like so, like just recently, he was like, "Oh, what's up?" And I'm like, "Whoa!" Oh, <laughs> yeah, you about where did you come from? Who sent you? Whoa! Yeah, you, you he about cocaine? Okay. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> wow. Okay, let me ask this follow up question because now that we know the backstory of that. Um, with the title of that song being If You Should, what is something that you would say that you should do now that you haven't quite gotten to do yet? Um, mm -hmm. wow. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I, it's hard to say. I mean, it's, it's obviously it's Just interesting to answer a question like that with what's going on right now because it's hard to even conceive mm, doing right. anything with the world the way it is. Right. right now and before that, I was pretty content with where things were at. I was just really uh, desperate to make new material, write new music, and I, I'm glad that I'm finally starting to do that now. I don't know what broke or what shook, but right. I have almost enough to put out a new album finally for like the first time in a long time. Oh, okay. And yeah. Oh, okay. Nice. Can we get a, a tentative release date? Do we no. Have one <laughs> <laughs> I just pinched myself. I, I, I do have a comedy album coming out though. Which okay. is, hey, uh, I saw. That's my saw. first my first comedy album, so I'm very excited uh, about that. Tell them, tell them the, um, you, the tell, label you own. Matter of fact, let's tell us more about yeah. it. Yeah, what let's label? Well, I'd love it. to. Thanks for asking. Um, yes. <laughs> I uh, I recorded it in Toronto um, last uh, the summer before last. It was a while ago. Uh, obviously, um, things didn't go the way we had planned as far as releasing it. Like I had right. hoped, you know, we would have released it and I could have maybe done a tour or something to support it. But, you know, things this past year was just wild. And so um, the producer of it, uh, Allison Door with Howlin' War Records. Our good friend, yeah. Allison, what is up? Yeah, she's amazing. And she, uh, she was like, I don't want you to think I forgot. And I was like, no, and honestly, I wasn't going to push it. Like I wanted it to come out when it was right. And she was like, you know, I think we got it. And I was like, all right, let's do it. And um, I'm, I'm so excited to finally like release something. It's so new to me because I've done music. I've, I've had several albums of music and like to come out with like a comedy album is like just it, it's wild. I'm really excited about it and I'm happy That's with cool. how it came out. And it's a pretty fun first effort, I think. No, so um, pretty fun cool. fact. That's how I. I discovered, well, I discovered her, but that's how I came in contact with her. I saw Allison had posted, she released a comedy album. I, I was did, like, um, I did see We that. got to talk to her. Like, bring her now, <laughs> yes. So Allison kind of connected us, and that's how we- She's did. awesome. She is. For She's those great. that do not know, if you uh, have not- Going watched, back to season yeah, one. Go back to season one. I often Allison wonder. Allison has been on- Two, three shows. Two, two or three shows. Three. She's been on a few shows with us. She's been on our Halloween special. She's been on an episode where we interviewed her, and she's been on. Yeah, she's been on three because she's been she's on. She's, on, be on our, she's even been on our box on Saturday. Yeah, she'll be on Saturdays as well. But she did do it with Phillips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our box too. That, yeah, that was. Uh, yeah, so shout out to them and How Record. Y'all saw our first season. We had all of their merch on our table. So. Right. Um, very good friends of ours, um, very big supportive. So we love them. Shout out to them in Toronto. Uh, hey. now <laughs> <laughs> were you a Mountie just did? Uh, that's a Toronto thing. A uh, Canadian, Canadian thing. Right? I know, but that's why I was My like, initials too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're right. <laughs> eh. But hey. I pronounce it eh. <laughs> Do you answer that? What? Do you answer to that? No. Oh, okay. Just checking. <laughs> you want to try? No. Oh, <laughs> no. Do you know your last name? Oh, I know your last name. All right. So, <laughs> next song on this question list. Oh, God. Yeah. Uh, Moving right along. Right, next, uh, next song. Um, special Am I. Hmm. Special I yeah, Am. I Am. Thank you. 
Don't worry about it. She, Listen, she's dyslexic. She just needs to smoke. I, I really am. Y'all just don't even understand. That helps, that helps the cataracts and the dyslexic. <laughs> <laughs> the glaucoma every now and again. Y'all tighten up. Tell, tell us about that song, Special I Am. Um, That song came from, uh, I was actually driving home from uh, something and I was having a bad night and I actually called my answering machine to leave this in in the answering machine because it started coming up to me. The line was like, he must not know how special I am because it was something that I was like, I realized that I was giving something up for another person. And I was mm. like really hoping that that person realized how special I was and that I wasn't just doing this um, for granted. And I was, turns out, you know, it was all <laughs> a big waste of time, but uh, nothing is a waste of time if it leads you to like a good final path, I guess, which right, is where I'm right. at now. So Good. You know, I should thank him for being a dirtbag. Um, <laughs> Hello. I lots of dirtbags to thank. Uh, <laughs> lots of them. Lots. Yeah. So, so let me ask. Let me ask this follow up question. Was that experience your first time of realizing how special you, you were, um, and how important the value of who you are, uh, who you are now, um, and who you were then? Was that your first time realizing that, or was there another instance? I don't even think I realized it then. I think a lot of the songs that I wrote in the beginning were, um, they sounded empowering, but they were for me, like almost like a wish list, like how I wanted to feel and how I wanted to be, but I really wasn't there yet. And I really didn't, didn't get there until um, after I got sober and was sober for a while um, before I found that like, you know, self-respect, like one of the steps in, in like the program, I'm not going to get all like preachy and shit, but like one of the <laughs> steps in the program is like, they break it down. Cause when you just read it and it like, it's got a lot of God talk and stuff and you're like, yeah. eh, like, man, eh, not for me maybe. But one, like the guy just said to me for like one of the steps, he was like, do you believe that you deserve unconditional love? And I was like, I don't know. And then like he asked again in a different way. And then he asked like a few different ways. And finally I started crying and I was like, yeah, I do. You know what? Yeah, I, I do. And it was like, cool, like everything blew open then, you know, and just having some self-respect and, and knowing what you're worth and making sure you get it, making sure that other people treat you the way that you should be treated and also believe that you're worthy of that treatment. It's a it's a nicer place to live for sure. Most definitely. That's, that's dope. That's dope. All right. So I got to get it out of the way. Uh -oh. We yeah. need we we need names of inspirations that have is help inspire Aaron Harks in your in your comedy and in your music. Oh, well, uh for comedy, I've always really liked and have been compared to uh Chelsea Handler. Okay. okay. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's like a huge I can see compliment. It. Like, I can see it. Yeah, the first time I got that, I was like, I'll take it. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, she's uh, just amazing. I just really I like everything she does in comedy and beyond. I just think that she's great. Uh for music, I um, one of the acts that I listened to the most, like growing up, it was funny because, you know, like kids I went to school with and stuff, they were listening to, you know, like like Michael Jackson and like Debbie Gibson and, mm -hmm. and Madonna and stuff like that. And I was always like going through like my mom's old record collections and listening to like Fleetwood Mac and uh, mm -hmm. Clearwater Revival and like harmonizing with that and stuff. And so I always like listened to that a lot growing up. And uh, when I got a little bit older, uh, I was listening to one of my favorite musicians of all time is uh, Beth Hart. Um, okay. And I heard her album uh, when I was still in college. And I was like, that is who like I want to be if I could be anybody. And I got to open for her a few years ago. Actually. Nice. Nice. Great. Great. Was awesome. Because a lot of musicians, when you get to open for them, they're such dicks. And she was <laughs> so nice. And I was like, if she's not nice to me, I'm quitting. Like, that's it. <laughs> I was so lucky. She was so sweet to me. So, listen, there are so many questions that we could still ask. <laughs> and you are, what is the word I want to find? Sober? <laughs> you got it. <laughs> <laughs> no, because there's so many words that were coming to mind, and I felt myself getting ready to well, blank. Yeah, no, you, you blank. I was getting ready to fumble over my tongue, so I slowed down. I had to slow down. I had to slow the brain. I had down. to slow the brain down. <laughs> um, you are definitely very gifted, and your your talent shows through all of your music, your your comedy. Um, and it is it's just amazing. I, it's an honor to sit down and actually talk to you because oh, thank you. Um, 
Yeah, no, definitely. You're welcome. Um, real recognize real. Right. Like <laughs> I was sitting here when um when Jamel sent us the information so we could do our research. You know, I immediately went over to your website. I was like, yo, look at these these dates that she has for mm -hmm. the live in person, which right. uh, you got all these cover songs. You've got videos. You got like it, you got merch like you and you've been posting even on your social media lately. Uh, some of the new merch and stuff like that, like which I'm about to order. One of the ones got the face with the fingers up because that one is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That one is great. I love it. I was like, I will definitely wear her face on my on my chest with the picture. So, like, I needed yeah. a picture, and I was just like, uh, let's just do this. Why not? Yeah, that's a perfect picture right there. Yeah, you, you, was, you was feeling real, real gangster that day. That's it. Oh, All yeah. she needed was the beanie or the, or the step back. That's it. But we thank you so much for for coming on the show. Yeah, this was fun. This, this was, real was fun. this you. was great. Please let it, like we always say, um, you're a part of what we call our friend zone. Mm -hmm. uh, which means you are kinfolk family to us. If there's anything that we can do to support you, um, please let us know. We will yeah. we will plug it away on our personal media, our social media, on our business social media, on everywhere. Um, I feel like I'm missing something. Yeah, uh, one more time. And yeah, thank you so much. Let the people know where you can get all your information. Plug away. Plug away. Plug Boop. away. Boop. It's Aaron Harks. E R I N H A R K E S. Uh, dot com and all the handles at Aaron Harks and the uh, comedy album comes out March 26th. It's called nice. So Locked and Probation. Oh, Ooh. wow. Oh, four more days. Then. Wow. All right. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it is coming up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you, you know it. You mean coming yeah. around the mountain when he comes. Yeah. Yeah. Coming around the mountain when she comes. Yeah. Well, that's nice. Coming around the mountain. 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 No, this was fun, it was, and it, it was. oh man, it, this was dope. Um, Thank you so much. I had a great time. Yeah, so um, yeah, we'll, we cop the album. Yeah, we we'll got plug away. Album. We'll plug Any it away. Um, from you, Detroit. I just want to say you you did a joke. Uh oh. It said, <laughs> "I'm gonna read it." So it says, "Um, I just found out my grandmother had Parkinson's disease, oh. which is really sad because I thought she was just really agreeable." <laughs> so, uh, I fell out laughing. <laughs> like, <laughs> I can't believe you found that one. I only did that one like once or twice because I felt so bad doing it. It's just she was like hilarious. <laughs> like, <laughs> and then yeah. I said, yeah, I'm just to be dead. Oh wow! <laughs> no, that's, why? Why did you? I'm glad you didn't bring that up in the middle of the show because I, I would have lost it. We wouldn't have got cut, nothing I accomplished. Cut, I want to cut everybody we, off. You know we wouldn't have had nothing accomplished. <laughs> That's funny yeah, as fuck. Right. <laughs> he thought she was just real. <laughs> yeah. You got it yeah. like this. Is she okay? <laughs> She's all right. We just roll her over. She'd be okay. <laughs> oh, God. I didn't even know that joke was out there, man. Wow. Hey, look, I'm I am glad a master you did not, you did not say stuff. that in between the show. Because I oh. would have been, we would have ended the show. Too. I'm literally yeah. crying. That's, okay. <laughs> that's hilarious. Listen, Jamel will find any piece of dirt on this thing. Anything that you think and does you not exist. Digital footprint. He it. will find it. Oh, that's hilarious. It doesn't even matter these days, man. You can still go on to be president after saying yeah, shit. Like hey, hey. That's true. That is so true. Look at y'all former president. That's why. I'm <laughs> be like, yeah, I used to do drugs. Go for me. <laughs> <laughs> you can relate to me. I know what it feels to be in your right? Okay, time to go. Gotta go. Gotta Gra go. Grab him by the Kanuchi. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. You okay, you know what? Thank you so much, Aaron. I don't know what's wrong with him, but I'm about to log off. Thank you so much, Aaron. We wish you all the best of luck again. Anything oh, that we can man. do to support you, please let us know. The I often with your family um, will definitely support you in all your endeavors. Um, listen, y'all. <laughs> y'all go check out. Aaron Hart. Make sure y'all go over, spam all of her stuff. Right, um, right. Not literally spam, but y'all know what I mean. Because <laughs> some of y'all just just Y'all take it too far. Too much. Just so go much. support. <laughs> hey, let's, let's make it simple. Go support. Go support. Go, support. Music, go over to the website, comedy. Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. All, that. all of that. Spotify, everything. Make sure that you guys are downloading. You are sharing, 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 and commenting on all of her stuff as well as ours. Mm -hmm. Until next time, because I need to go get my life together now, because <laughs> that last joke took me out all the way. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> he was Cut it out!
He was teasing me. I'm your girl, Mike Bobby. He was teasing me. I'm Black Bubble Watchers. Welcome more. I welcome more. <laughs> All right. Wrap it, up. <laughs> wrap it up. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Make sure you check out the website, www.com. I often wonder. Listen, every Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Check Time, we will be dropping another episode right. every Monday and Thursday, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Chill. Join the guys on Chill. the IOW Sports Channel, right, right. Uh-huh. as well as every night, join while Carmar on the Midnight late night Owl. Show. Late Night Owl Sports. Listen, we mm-hmm. have not forgot for all those. I've been getting a couple of DMs asking about the stuff coming up with the network. Um, as well as the internet radio that you guys heard us talk about. It is coming. Be patient with us. But it is coming. It's coming. <laughs> um, if you are an artist, a comedian, a, have a commercial, a business that you want to shoot, just shoot one of us an email um, or shoot us an email to the business site at Iftenwonder19 at gmail.com. We will get to your inquiries as soon as possible, usually about 24 hours max. Y'all live. Uh, yeah, we'll get back to you. He, yeah. He'll 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 be <laughs> just on the show. Um, <laughs> until next time, again, I'm your girl, Black Barbara Walters. Chit, 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 welcome on. Detroit, man. That'll be me. The, <laughs> the man with the grandmaster the plan. plan. <laughs> until next time, we love you guys. Be safe. Peace. Peace.